Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. This is Michael Chitwood. I'm coming to you live from Chattanooga Boulevard here. I uh, have a thought for you today, two thoughts, in fact, I think that you'll appreciate these. Number one, any time that you say that you can't afford something, you do realize that your brain stops working. When you say, I can't afford it, your brain stops working. But when you say, I'll see how I can, your brain continues to work. Immediately, as soon as you say, I can't afford it, I can't afford that home, I can't afford that car, I can't afford to do this, I can't afford to do that, your brain shuts down and you become almost a dead person. So one thought for you today, I got two, and you need to, you need to let you free because this next is going to be about Christians and sinners. One, when your brain, when you say, I can't afford it, your brain shuts down. When you say, I'll see how I can afford it, I'll try to afford it, then your brain keeps working, so you can't afford it. Does that make any sense to y'all? may not make any sense to some of y'all. I don't know. All right, number two, you do understand that Jesus would rather hang with sinners than a bunch of low-down Christians, right? I have never seen such pathetic Christians in my entire life. They're pathetic. That's what they are. They can't do anything on their own. One person told me today, said the biggest problem with Christians is they have too much time on their hands. They're always gossiping and talking. Sinners don't even do that. So, so my point to you today is simply this, is that 30 pieces of silver is what got Jesus. And where did they buy it from? The sinners had to buy it from the church. Judas is the one that sold for 30 pieces of silver. You better be careful about anybody that you see has got 30 pieces of silver because they could be selling you out, Jack, <laughs> especially if it's Christian. <laughs> the, the church sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. Can you believe that? The church, the church, Christians, Christians sold Jesus out for 30 pieces of silver. Now, here's my point today. And you need to share this broadcast if you, if, you, if you want to. These Christians, some of these Christians are just lazy, horrible, too much time on their hands people. All they want to do is get a word from somebody. Give me a word. And then a week later, they forgot the word. But it gave them a word to shout on for that moment. Here he comes now. He's coming down now. Pick it up. There he goes, right there, right there. So you got to understand something. You have to understand something, and you have to make this clear. As far as I'm concerned, you need to really make sure that you know that who you're dealing with is a real Christian. And you know how you can tell? Is one, they're not gossiping. Two, they're not sitting around praying in the Holy Spirit all day long. I mean, a bunch of idiots. What idiots could you have to just sit around and gossip, murmur, grumble, complain? I mean, <laughs> no wonder Jesus didn't really like Christians. He loved sinners. And the church sold him out for 30 pieces of silver. Can you believe that? That the Pharisees went to Judas and said, hey, we'll give you 30 pieces of silver, Jack, if you will sell him out. Turn him over to us. The church sold, you can see why Jesus, I wouldn't like somebody sold me out, would you? I wouldn't like anybody sold me out. That's why Jesus don't like Christians. He don't even like Christians. <laughs> he don't even like Christians. <laughs> I'm talking about real real Christians he loves. If you're a real Christian, you're not always mummering and grumbling and complaining and all that crap that you do. Yeah. Yeah, I see there's not many on here today. I don't give a crap. I'm fed up with Christians. Christians. But watch out, buddy. You're about just, about just about to back into that RR there. And when that happens, you got a real big problem on your hands. Now, not that I'd be mad at you because I'm a Christian, but it will cost you big money. You see that? You come close. Come close to backing into it. That's a real problem. 
So, so those great, great Christians out there that you sit around and you pray all day long, you don't work. You know, I heard something the other day. You know what I heard? I'm coming to you live, by the way, from Chattanooga Boulevard right here. You know what I heard the other day? I heard that they actually have statistical proof that there's more Christians on food stamps, more so-called named Christians on food stamps than there are sinners. Uh, that would present a real problem to me because he even said, if you don't work, you don't eat. So Jesus did not like Christians. I don't care what you say. The Christians sold Jesus out. Judas was in the church. Now, I'm not trying to be spiritual on you today, but I am trying to be realistic today. No, that's a ghost. That's a, No, it's a ghost. See, that's Kathy. Kathy, that's a ghost. Oh, she's getting her ghost right there. You see that? She's getting her ghost right now. No. By a very, very intelligent person. You've heard of have you heard of have you heard of fake news? Anybody heard of fake news? You've heard of fake news. Type that on the screen right now. Fake news. Anybody heard of fake news? Let me see that again. John, give that note to me again. Have that note again. I just got a note here. I got to tell y'all something. I got to go. I got to get out of here. Got to tell you about cat. Fake Christians is just like fake news. John said that you can put fake Christians in the same bucket as fake news. My God. Now, there are some good Christians, by the way, that live right and do right, but there's a bunch of fake Christians. Fake Christians. Now, Kathy, she just got in a ghost. Let me tell you something. You wouldn't know no substance. Fake Christians have no substance. I mean, I'm getting this from, from a priest. I'm getting this from a man of God. I'm getting this from, I'm getting these notes handed to me because they're on fire about this subject. They can't even believe that I'm doing it, but I don't care. I have zero to lose, Jack. Zero to lose. You have everything to lose. You know why? Because people aren't telling you the truth. That's why that you had any brains, you'd share this broadcast because people need to know that fake news is just like fake Christians and fake Christians have no substance. Somebody needs to post that on my Twitter thing. Fake news is just like fake Christians because fake Christians have no substance. It's a good word. It's a good word, Jack. Appreciate it. Kathy just got a ghost. She has a humanitarian organization. And you know what? Wayne Heisinger, they give millions of dollars away to the poor. Millions of dollars. In fact, I'm on the C, C, the C, the CS board. I'm on the CS board. We give millions of dollars away to homeless people. You make fake people, but you cannot make a fake God. They're just, these priests are handing me stuff all the time. I got a Catholic priest sitting right here. Yeah, yeah, I'm having lunch with a Catholic priest. Yeah, fake, you make fake people, but you cannot have a fake God. He sees the heart of every person. He knows if you're fake. All that fake stuff you do. We had one lady the other day, she said, sitting around praying you know, on choir practice. She's sitting around praying the Holy Spirit. The pastor said, why don't you get up here and practice your music? She said, well, I'm praying the Holy Spirit. Well, how you going to know the song Sunday? Well, she said the Holy Spirit will give it to you. You know, she is an idiot. And of course, we fired her ass. <laughs> we, we fired her ass from the church. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that's what Jesus would have done. He said, look, you need to get out. You need to get out because you, 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 you're you not going to make it in choir because Sunday you don't even know the songs and you're wanting to sit around. She's sitting on the front row praying in the, uh, J hey, uh, John, she's sitting on the front row praying in the Holy Spirit. And finally, the minister of you, who is Jeffrey C., by the way, Pastor Jeffrey C., he said, he said, I'm not going to call her name, he said, are you going to come, are you going to come on the platform and so we can rehearse for Sunday's praise and worship? She said, well, I'm praying in the Holy Spirit now. She's been there 30 minutes. He said, well, how are you going to learn the song? She said the Holy Spirit would give it to me. She is an idiot. She's fired. We fired her ass. She, she's an idiot. These people are idiots. I'll tell you the truth, man. I mean, no one of the church is so screwed up. Not our church. Not our church. I'll tell you the truth. We're, we're, we're on fire, man. Yeah, you share it if you want to. I don't care. Yeah. 
Can you believe that the sinners talked a Christian into selling Jesus for 30 pieces of silver? Can anybody believe that? Do y'all even believe that happened or true? It's found in the best-selling book in the world of all times. It's called the B-I-B-L-E, the Bible. I didn't need a prophet to tell me that. I just read it. I read it in the divine word of God that the sinners, the Pharisees, went to Judas and said, Hey, we got some money. We'd like to buy Jesus. Sell him out. They gave him 30 pieces of silver and sold him out. The church did. That's why Jesus don't like Christians. In fact, the truth be known, Jesus don't even like church. Jesus likes to be out here among where I'm at. I'm out here. I've got, how many? One, two, three. Sasa, we got what? Well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's seven people out here. What do you say? Seven people? Seven people, right? Seven people. So that's, that's, I'll, be, I'll be with just being seven people. And every one of these people out here, I, I don't know their thing, but I mean, I've never told I don't know. Uh, let me ask you. Uh, are you are, well, I, I don't want to do that, but most of these people out here, they're, they don't profess really to know God. I've never heard them talk about it. That don't mean that they're not a Christian. But they're always talking good about people. Now, if you had a group of Christians sitting over here, all they'd be talking about, well, the preacher's message was too long and the music is too loud and so-and-so did this and so-and-so held the microphone wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fake Christians. What was that again? Let me set a note again. Father... Father Jeremy, let me set those. All they would be doing is talking negative, negative, negative about something in the church. But over there is three people three, no, four, she went to the restaurant. There's four, is there four people over there or not? Huh? Can you talk? Well, let's hear you. Four people sitting right there. Four people sitting right there. And you know what? I've overheard their conversation and it's all been positive. It's all been positive about positive things. They haven't said one negative word about a coworker, not one negative word about their wife, nothing. But this table over here, all they're doing is talking about how bad the preacher is and uh, and I think I saw him coming out of a hotel with somebody but I'm not sure you know just negative stuff didn't see nothing didn't see nothing got three walking down right now three they, they, they don't they don't know they, they don't know they don't know, they don't know nothing he said well, why are you on such a roll with these Christians because I'm starting to despise Christians uh-huh Jesus did I did too I do too almost well, don't you need them in your church? We have real Christians in our church, real Christians. Because they know if they start this crap with me, I will excommunicate your ass. Unless you repent. Now, if you repent and act right, I'll keep you. <laughs> I don't know. I was just talking about you. Yeah, let's talk about all the people that you and Wayne Heising and the board does on CS. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, well, hey, now, okay. All right, I see you. Okay, bye, I love you. Well, listen, I guess I've had enough of this for today. You probably have too. You're probably ready to get me off. It's a good thing I don't have my glasses because I know y'all are cussing and fussing and saying every bad thing about me that you could, but they did Jesus too. Remember, remember who sold Jesus out? It was the Christians. A church member sold Jesus out, and his name was Judas. For 30 pieces of silver. Better be careful, buddy. <laughs> Somebody might have 30 pieces of silver. Snatch you out. Hey, this is Michael Chitwood. I'm coming to you from Chattanooga Boulevard here. Hope y'all have a beautiful day today, and uh, read your Bible today. Just know that. Just know one thing for sure. Just know this for sure. Okay, God loves 
you. God loves you. Can anybody say yes to that out there? Maybe somebody could give me one heart. I can't even get a heart today. These people are so, my God, they're so, I guess, spiritual. I don't know. Put my glasses on. I guess they're so spiritual. I don't even know. I don't even know what they're doing. No, yeah. Anybody gonna give me a heart for anything at all? If nothing else, just give me a cart heart because I'm a normal person. God, it's all the way down below 100 now. I don't care. Look at the heart. I'm getting some hearts. So look at that. You see those hearts? Brent Watson, Jesus was sold at. Patty Moore, Jesus was sold by a Christian for 30 pieces of silver to a sinner. All it took was 30 pieces of silver. Can you imagine how these sinners can be, how these Christians can be? There's some, there's some, there's some things right there. Yeah, oh no. Uh, you say what you want to. You start any gossip in my church? If I hear you talking about somebody in my church, if I hear you talking about somebody bad in my church, we're brothers and sisters at Celebration Church, I will excommunicate your ass so quick that you won't know what hit you. You go down the street. Here, I got one more. It was known as the kiss of death. There we go. Keep, keep it up, Father. Be careful who you let kiss you. My God, that's a good one there, man. It was known as the kiss of death. Some of y'all, some of y'all, some of y'all better be careful who you let kiss you. You could have the wrong person kissing your ass, <laughs> and you you wind up you wind up being sold and chop your head off. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not worried about it. I'm not worried about it a bit. No. No, not worried about it. The only one cuss word in the Bible that, well, two really, one, you can't take the Lord's name in vain. And number two, the other word that's a cuss word is the word debt, D-E-B-T. In fact, in the book of Samuel, you'll see that it says all those that were in debt followed David to the cave. Yeah, I know my Bible born you think I do. I know you don't think I know it, but I know it. I know it. All right, well. I hope y'all had a good day today. Remember, when you say you can't afford it, your brain shuts down and you stop thinking right then. Your brain goes dead. But when you say, well, let me see how I can afford something, then that kicks your brain into gear of trying to work out a plan on how you can do it. Hey, brother. Give her some there. Yeah, give her some. Father, Give Father, Father Jeremy some, too. I'm gonna be here for a while. Father Jeremy's going. You want some or not? Yeah, yeah. A cappuccino for that. Yeah, it's good. Good. We got. No, no, no. Not for me. Not for me. I don't drink. I don't drink coffee. I don't drink coffee, everybody. Yeah, here. All right. Well, I've had a good day. I tell you that. I've had a big day. A big day. Jesus was sold by a Christian for thirty pieces of silver. Better be careful, them Christians who you sit beside. They give you a kiss on Sunday. It's called the kiss of death. <laughs> Boy, you better be careful who kisses you. I tell you, my God. <laughs> you better be, you know what? We better put a sign up in our church on Sunday. At your church, not my church. Give me some hearts. Come on, give me some hearts. Get yourself going. Give me some hearts and thumbs. Give me a thumb up. Don't give me a finger. Give me a thumb. Hey, I'll tell you something right now. You know what? I'll tell you something right now put a sign up not my church and your church no kissing until you can certify that you're a Christian that's a kiss of death right there 30 pieces of silver known as a kiss of death I didn't know that by the way I'm enrolled in Bible college everybody I'm getting ready to start studying the Bible I know the Bible pretty good but I gotta, I gotta get deeper in it I do know this one thing though Jesus didn't like Christians no I'm afraid he'd sell him out again I guess all right, y'all have a good day. You got anything else there? So you working on you got anything else? All right. All right, hey, listen, I'm getting ready to get out of here. We're all the way down to 75 people. There comes there comes somebody putting up a Pac-Man face, an ugly face. Yeah, all right, all you good Christians, let me have it now. Come on, give it to me. Come on, give it to me. Give it to me. Let me see it. Come on, give me some bad faces there. Come on, Christians. Come on, good old Christians. I'd rather deal with the sinners than a bunch of you Christians. Ah, oh, my God, I feel the power of God. Was that, was that Claude just went by on that, on that Harley? Was that him?
Holy, that's Claude. Went by. I think it was. I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Put it up. Put it up. I don't care. We're dropping to 56. I'm going to stay on here till y'all drop to zero. That means all of you get off here. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I love you too, Patty Moore. Violetta. Brent. Debbie Booth. Ingrid. Ingrid's one of our members. She knows what we do. Ingrid, Ingrid knows that we, we run a church of love. Love, 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 love. All right, all right, okay. I think I've had enough. Now you back up to 67. I thought y'all were trying to get the number down where I could get off of here. I'm not going to get off till y'all get below 50. Get below 50. Some of you get off here so I can get off here. Get below 50 if you can so I can get off here. I'm tired of talking. Hey, how you doing? Everything going good? All right. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what. You know, everybody loves me. I got more sinners down here that love me than Christians. You know why they love me? Because I'm a real man. I'm honest. I don't tell lies. You know, I, I'm, I'm not a liar. Let's see what all these people say. There's one that loves me. There's old Maurice Willis. There's my man right there. Maurice on here. You know that? I love Maurice. Now, Maurice can tell you. He can tell you what kind of church we run. He's our praise and worship leader. Maurice is, I mean, he is, he is, Maurice is my, is, is, he, he's, he's top notch, isn't he? I mean, him and his wife, they're incredible. And uh, we got a big basketball game coming up on July the 29th. He's, he was on the losing team, was on the winning team, Dr. Cook. Y'all need to come see this game. But y'all need to get moved to Chattanooga where there's something happening. Move to Chattanooga where there's Christians in a church. And just because you have a big church don't mean you're full of Christians. You know, you know the devil does go to church. You know, the devil is loyal. The devil does go to church. The devil goes to church. Hey, I'm down here. Yeah. Come on, drop it below 50 so I can go. I got to go. I got to go. I got somewhere I got to go. I may go to the Rolls Royce dealership. Yeah, look around a little bit. See if there's anything I want to buy today. Nah, they're not going to go. I'm going to quit. I'm going to cut the number at 55. When it goes 55, I'm out of here. I've got to go. I'm, 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 getting ready to, I'm getting ready to cut. I'm getting ready to cut loose yet. I think back up to 60. I wish to goodness y'all would get off of this thing so I could go. Okay, Brent, how you doing, Brent? Yep, you better believe it. Yep, we're not. The Maurice, everybody saying hello to you. They're not them saying hello to me. They all saying hello to you. No, what we're going to do is we are going to raise up mega people. I'm not interested in a big church in Houston, Texas with 25,000 people with a bunch of duds. I'm raising up a church, with the Lord's help, of course, with mega people. Somebody type that on the screen, mega people who have mega money because they can be trusted with mega money. The Bible says if you can be trusted with small things, you'll be trusted with great mighty things in the book of Luke. My God, I'm starting to feel the power of God come on me here, and I'm trying to get out of here. I want to go. I want to go. Have I even paid the bill here yet? My God, where is he at? Solo, it is. Casi no pico. Come. Got the check? Yeah, by the way, get all these people here. Get get that table, that table, that table. Get, get them all. Get them all. Oh, that one over there. That one, that one, that one. Get them all. Just pay them all. Yeah, just buy them all. All right. Well, bought a few people's meals today and did something good. So, all right. I hope you all have a good day today. M.M. Mega Money what Booth just came up with. Pretty good. Mega money. Hey, there's, there, there's my friend Randy Coggins. Yeah, Randy Coggins. Mega people. Yeah, Randy Rand, Randy Coggins. Yeah. He's a great man. He called and prayed for him today. Now, he's a Christian. He's a real Christian preacher. I like I like Pastor. I, a lot of these guys. I have 8,000 churches. Yeah. There's Maurice again. Maurice. Hello, everybody. Maurice is talking to everybody now. He wants to say something to everybody. Say, Hello, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm down here on Chattanooga Boulevard, by the way. Y'all need to come downtown. All right, you got it? Yep. All right, brother. Thank you, sir. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Good job here. You did a good job today. Thank you. I'm getting ready to leave. These people get off here. I got to go. Let's keep here. Here, can you sign this? Give him give him, a, give him a big tip. I mean, you know, give him at least, I don't know, give him, how much is the bill? Let me look at the bill. Let me look at the bill and see. Uh, bill, $435 for lunch. Okay. Uh, give him, uh, give him, uh, give him 150 bucks, something like that. You know, give him 25%. He did a good job. We've been here for a while. Taking up all these tables there and everything. You're, yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. See, the, see, people are nice. People are nice. People are nice. We gave a car away to the mother of our church. She was nice. She was nice. 
How many preachers do you know give a car away, a brand new car, to the mother of the church? I've only known it for 13 weeks. Our church has only been going for 13 weeks. I have 125 people. Oh, yeah, we're growing, we're growing, we're growing. Yeah, I know, I know. No, we don't just let anybody in. you got to go through a process to get in our church. You ought to be in our church, really. I'm trying to wait till y'all get these numbers down because I really don't want to fool y'all anymore, to be honest with you. Nobody's, nobody's so far said anything nice about me. I don't think I've had anybody say anything but nice about me yet. Have you seen, have you seen anything? Cause they're, they're monitoring your machines, by the way. They're on here. They're on here watching what y'all say. We're recording it. Yeah. All right, brother. We got you. Thank you, guys. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it, man. Good job here. Thank we'll you. see you later here. Yep. Thanks a lot. Okay. Ah, 73. Oh, my goodness. Well, I cut the number off. If it gets down to 60, I'm out of here. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, be careful. Be careful with these Christians. They're dangerous. Too much time on their hands. They have no substance. Too much time on their hands. They don't have anything to do. Did you know I heard a stat the other day? I don't know if I told you this or not, but I heard a stat the other day that there's more Christians on food stamps than sinners. I heard that. I, I got a, You know, I think that came from CW, if I'm not mistaken. Text him and ask him if he's the one that gave me that stat, would you? I think CW gave that to me, I believe. He had done some research on it and found out there's more Christians on food stamps than there were, than there were sinners. I wonder what Jesus thinks about that. Oh, I know. Christians can't find a job because they're discriminated. But that's a lie. You just don't want to work. All right, I'm out of here. Hope you all have a good day. Share this with somebody if you want to. Because I'm sure that once they hear it, that they'll either do one or two things. They'll either jump on board with Michael Chitwood or, or drop me. And to be honest with you, I don't really care. Thank you for being with me today. God bless you. I'll see you all later here. Love you. No, I'm sure I love you. I didn't act like it, but I do love you. How about?